Hello, we updated RP Reverse and added a mute button for the dry signal. There was already a mute button for the reverse signal, but now also a mute is added for the dry signal. And this could be handy in terms of automation. So instead of pulling up down for the dry signal, you also can use mute now. Uh, let me give you an example how you can use this. For example, if you like to have a reversed sound of a vocal before the vocal really kicks in. So up here we have um, a part with a bit of music and the real vocal kicks in on this part. And what I did is copy the first part of it here so that I can make a reverse sound uh, which appears then for this vocal kicks in. So let me play it now uh, with this one muted so we have then reverse muted okay time to realize i've lost this fight yeah. but i'm never giving Give up i've away. got My to Lord. try you already can see that I did some muting for the wet signal, uh, for the reverse signal, but um, now I like to have, before this vocal kicks in, a bit of reverse sound here. Now I copied this over to this part, and of course I need to tweak things, and, and I will do this now on this, on the flow while recording this video. There's a default preset which I use, which is a uh, triggering on the audio. So once the audio is, um, is, is on this particular level, it starts recording for one bar and holds this before recording again a bar. So this is a really basic setting. It's essentially the default preset. Okay, so how to do this? Well, I did um, copy this part over here. So this part is gonna be reversed, but of course the dry signal I should not hear. So this part I will um, dry, mute the dry channel, then unmute because here the vocal kicks in, and then I'll mute again the reverse. And of course this is best to do some uh, uh, automation recording, which I can do here. Okay, you see, I did uh, this um, parameter recording, so I put it now in playbacks. And by moving this one around, I can see how things are going. So maybe on a later point, yeah, just give it a try. So this one is muted, and here the vocal kicks in. Okay, not so good. So I move it more forward so that the recording starts earlier. Of course, we have several settings here in the RP reverse. You can have a slower attack and decay in the reverse signal so that it doesn't have a hard kick in, um, but a slow attack phase and a slow attack decay um, volume. This one is already better, but of course it's up to your own taste how you want to have this one. I, um, so this is this is better. Uh, I would have it reverse maybe a bit less loud. So play it again. Time to realize I've lost this fight. So this will be an option. Of course, there are other things you can do. You can say reverse time a half a bar. So let's try this out. And the whole time would be 
also half a bar. So then it uh, recalls half a bar. Uh, maybe then I can move this one a bit more this way and see how that happens. So you need to experiment with this. So this, um, this is where the vocal kick in. And this is then something which is muted by this mute uh, button here for dry. So the sound is reverse based on this uh, audio. And just ahead of the real vocal kicking in, um, the mute of the dry signal is uh, unmuted. And then of course, uh, yeah, depending on what you like to do with reverse sound, you can maybe kick in, kick out a bit more of the reverse sound. But let's try this one with, with the setting here of a half a bar. Time to realize I've lost it. I would say it comes a bit too early, so let's move it a bit backwards because it triggers on the audio, then it starts to record half a bar, so, so you need to play around to get the right sound. It was my time to realize I've lost this fight. Okay. Another option is to make it shorter. So I'll make again the whole um, sample shorter. I delete one part to make it a lot shorter. And let's see how this works. So I need to, again, you need to fill it around. It was my time to realize I've lost. Yeah, this could work a bit, maybe even more to this side. So again, Time to realize I've lost this fight. So, well, you need to tweak it a lot, um, feel the right uh, thing. So essentially you could use then this mute for the drive for having a reverse sound ahead of the vocal kicking in. Maybe it's even sometimes faster if you simply uh, copy the, uh, the vocal over and reverse the sample. That could be of course also sometimes a bit faster in uh, in the process of course rp reverses also uh for on drums doing rhythmically reversing sounds or really as a constant reverse thing inside your uh, track even on the vocals so check out the other videos on that subject <laughs> 